Welcome aboard for another video. Thanks, Conductor Keith. All right, so the purpose of today's video is to run my Mamid Brunel live steam locomotive. I haven't done a video just about this locomotive for quite a while now. So for those of you new to the channel, I'll just have a quick walk around. This cab I made myself. The cab was inspired by and loosely based on this locomotive from 1836. It's got a battery pack up in there and I can turn on a headlight if I want to. These are the stock buffers that come with the locomotive and they're sprung. I do have KD couplers I put in there. These are the couplers. I just unscrew these from the other side and I rig these in there. Um, but today I'm just gonna keep these on because this locomotive looks really sharp running my Swift 16 wagons. I'll leave a link to Swift 16 and Mammoth in the description to this video. Now this locomotive I've repainted. These are popsicle sticks and that's just a bit of wire, steel wire. As you can see right here uh, and right here, I've wrapped the lines and painted it with a Tamiya white paint. That's just string and paint. My friend Steve in England and his son Andy in Singapore made me a bunch of 3D printed signs. Here this one says A. Cairns. And that's after my uncle-in-law. He got me into trains. He really encouraged it. So this locomotive is named after him. This is a Summerlands chuffer that I used to have in my American Mainline by AccuCraft USRA 060. It makes a really satisfying which you'll hear very soon. When I got this model, I had to raise the boiler with a couple of washers, like my friend Steve in England had to do, and Dave in Scotland, so we could get a little more air into the burner. However, Mammoth has fixed that problem since, and there's a little more air that goes in now from the stock model. I've also accented red details here and there. This is a dual gauge locomotive, which means I can run it on 45 millimeter gauge like here, or even on 32 millimeter gauge track like here. It has a relatively powerful single, double acting cylinder operated by slip eccentric so today we have lord michael driving and v Han the driver porter dan is busy at work i see that allison and Lindsay are here wondering where their husbands have got to well here's the answer dave and steve are uh, playing with their model airplanes we can see that simon has a visitor rob and everett are discussing further locomotive repairs Michael is pondering as ever. The lost robot is no doubt peppering Tracy with more questions about Earth. Young Felix wishes he was riding a train right now or practicing the piano. We have Conductor Keith in the guard van, just ready to go. As you can hear, we are up to pressure. There's pressure coming off that valve right there. There's the steam. That chuff pipe works really well. Of course, the Friar is here on the bridge in his favorite train watching location, and he sent me a note that said he hopes that people like, subscribe, comment, but most importantly, share this video. Vertical pistons produce a lot of hammer blow on the track, and as you can see here, it starts to vibrate when the train comes near where the camera is at the goods shed. Henry, it's so good to see the old Brunel run. I know what you mean, Marge. I know what you mean. Yes, yes, it's very good indeed. I look forward to starting to add scenery to this railway this winter. Well, the run is over, but uh, I forgot to put the headlight on. 